Okay, can we start? Anyone else wants to join? I hope all of you are here. So let's begin. The topic is uh, quadratic equations. We are going uh, uh, again with the same similar type of problems. There will be uh, questions with traps at times. So please read carefully and uh, do not uh, rush through the questions. At times it would require some knowledge of your previous grades. So it is not directly uh, you know uh, straightforward questions it will be requiring some trigonometry some linear equations some previous grade identity knowledge and all that okay so uh, and if you don't really understand let's say any question anyways we uh, explain it so all of you ready and here we start read the question carefully first question on your screen guys So all the questions will be uh, related to sum of roots, nature of roots, uh, very rarely solving a quadratic equation. So yeah, read the question carefully and then attempt it. Don't rush through. Even if you are uh, taking a lot of time, don't worry. We have 100 seconds. So uh, keep yourself focused. Last time, many of you made mistakes by not reading the question properly. So there will be similar type of questions today also. Yeah, so take time. No worries. There is no. Try to finish within 100 seconds. That should be the target. That's it. Accuracy 100%. Accuracy should be 100%. All of you try for 100% accuracy. Speed will automatically come as you gain more and more practice. This was, uh, I think, very simple question. Uh, typically, you will see only three terms in a quadratic equation but I have purposefully split the middle term. Okay. Okay. So the first answers are here. Hmm. Lot many people have, Oh my God. So much of, so much of trouble in this. Why did people write it? Okay. Two, two possible values. Sum of two possible values. It was, yeah, it was very, very simple question. It was quadratic equation in a quadratic equation. So here is the first explanation, right? So, uh, Yes, how many of you could not solve it? What was the trouble? How many of you just put in put an X over there so that I could know how many? Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Didn't get enough time. Didn't get enough time for this. Oh my God. Chalo, dekho. See, uh, the roots of the quadratic equation are equal. So the quadratic equation actually is this. Isn't it? So hence roots are equal means a plus eight whole square. That is b square minus four ac. Discriminant has to be zero. Minus four times four times nine. Correct? Am I right? This must be zero. Right? So hence if you expand this, you will get a square plus 64 plus what? Um, 16a minus how much 16 times 9 144 is 0 okay so a square plus 16a and this much is minus 80 zero. am i right did you get all the all of you got this equation guys right then what sum of two passable values of a Sum of two possible values of A, this is a quadratic equation. So two values, let it be alpha and beta. So sum of alpha plus beta is how much? Minus 16. How much time did it take? Right? So it was hardly, you would have, you don't need to solve the equation also. Uh, from here itself, you can say alpha plus beta. So two possible values of A will come from here. One is alpha. Let's say another is beta. 
So sum of roots alpha plus beta is minus b by a, so minus 16. Anyone didn't understand? This was not at all time consuming, isn't it? Hardly 30 seconds, more than enough. If yes, you have to do calculations properly. Clear? Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this guy? Any, any doubt in this question? All right. So only 13 people got it. That's really concerning. What is there to be aware of type of problem? So what is the question? The question will not be straightforward. Find the sum of the roots. Right. So you have to infer, infer sum of two possible values of a. What is two possible values of a? Roots of a in this equation. What are the sum of the roots? Minus 16. Right. Okay. Next question, guys. So first leaderboard, only 13 people have got it right. That's not cool. Good. So Pratik, okay. Anirudh, Ananya, Daksh, Aniket, Shreyas. Who's Wolf Mister? I will throw you out. Identify yourself first. Who's Wolf, Wolf Mister? Name please. If you are part of this group, then I need to know. Otherwise, I will just bar you from this. Anyone is Wolf Mister in this? Yeah. Arin, Arin is Wolf Mister. Arin, you are there. Okay, no problem. So you you are you are Wolf Mister, right? No. Chalo, next. No problem, Arin. Solve. Read the question carefully and then solve. Patience would be required. Do not rush through. No problem, Arin. Chalo, come on, solve. Okay, so I think you would have got it by now. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. If you know the concepts, very, very straightforward. Okay, very good. So let us see who has done what. Uh, mm, so still people are not that confident people are arbitrarily marking the answers yes one by eight is the correct uh, answer right how many of you could not get it mention <coughs> okay okay yes all of you please register your this thing so that i could know and hence okay only five six people didn't get got it right okay Sai, Rishita, okay. Others, there are 64 people. Come on, guys. I need everyone's response so that I, I could make a assessment. Okay. 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 Never mind. Chalo. Let me let me solve this question. Quadratic equation x square plus mx plus n has roots twice those of x square px plus m. So let us say this particular quadratic equation has roots alpha and beta. So what will happen? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus p and alpha beta is equal to m. Correct. Now the roots of this equation are 2 alpha 2 beta. Isn't it? So twice alpha plus beta is equal to minus m and twice alpha twice beta is equal to how much? n. And you have to find out 
p by n value right so if you divide these two equations what will you get 1 by 2 is equal to p upon m and if you divide these two equations you will get 1 by 4 is equal to m upon m correct and then you simply multiply these two equations you will get 1 by 8 is equal to p upon n isn't it did you understand so what is the answer just play of words nothing else did you get all of you who mentioned x did you get right yes Meghna. yeah anything else here you want to understand clear no problem right shall we move ahead then okay so let's see the leaderboard so far oh so, yes who's this so Daksh here uh, I had some internet issues so, so could you just please repeat the answer yes the explanation sorry this is a question quadratic equation x square plus mx plus n equals to zero has roots twice those of x square plus px plus m equals to zero where p m n are non-zero real numbers you have to find out the value of p n p by n so i had assumed alpha and beta as the roots of the second equation so alpha plus beta is negative p minus b by a right alpha beta will be c by a that is m now in the second equation the roots are twice so 2 alpha plus 2 beta sum of roots of the first equation this one will be minus b by a that is minus m and product of root 2 alpha 2 beta is n right and then i simply divided first these two equations i got half is equal to p by m then i divided these two equations i got half 1 by 4 is equal to m by n i multiplied both the last last equation and i got this p by n is equal to 1 by 8 i hope this is clear let's go to the next question here Look carefully. Options are a little confusing, deliberately made. So hence, please check each one of them. last five seconds okay let's see if this was oh my god this is hot this is really depressing why why was this done why 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 how many of you could not understand the question could not do it Shardulli, okay intimidating but easy yes Time, oh my god, that means concept. This question could be solved within 10 seconds. Yes, search for 0x square. Yes, you had picked it well, but then it was a very simple question, guys. Not a parabola. For parabola, what is the, you know, parabola? When do we get a parabola? When you have an equation like ax square plus bx plus c. 
This is the first line in the introduction of your quadratic equation, right? Yes, isn't it? So a should not be zero for a parabola. If a was a is zero, then gone. That means coefficient of x square must not be zero, right? So which out of all, which one is? You have to just check the coefficient of x square. That's it. 3x times 4x is 12x square. Here minus 2x and 3x is minus 6x square. And here it is 4x square. Clearly, this this is not adding up to zero, so this is ruled out, right? Let's say second one, 3x and minus 4x, right? This is where you will get the quadratic terms, so minus 12x square. Then x into 3x minus 3x square, and 2 and minus 2 is minus 4x square. Again, ruled out. They are not adding up to zero. Yes, Ananya. Listen, yeah. So what I'm saying is, you have to just check the coefficient of x square in all the four. In whichever you see coefficient of x square to be zero, that's not parabola. That's not a quadratic polynomial, isn't it? So I was doing one by one. So if you see the third one, it is 12x square. Then these two multiplied together will give you 6x square. And this together will give you minus 6x square. Again, not equal to 0. So all three were ruled out. D was the only option. Check. 3 into 4x, 12x square. Minus 2 into 3x, minus 6x square. 3x into minus 2x, minus 6x square. Total is 0. How much time? So these all questions are concept based. Many people would have started blindly multiplying and then trying to find out, isn't it? Did you not do that? All of you would have started multiplying all the factors, all the terms here. And that exactly was the intention, right? So that you fall for this, waste time. And so hence, what is the learning? Learning is for any quadratic equation to exist, A must not be zero. Right? Only then you will see a parabola. Yes, tempting to multiply. That's what the intent of the question was and you fell for it okay but the result is pathetic only 18 people got it that means you need to work on these kind of you know so go by basics the normal tendency is whichever way i know i will move in that direction that's a wrong strategy okay so good so there is some shuffle now next question guys on your screen Think about the steps before you attempt the question. Next question. This question will also test your nerves. So let's see how many of you keep yourself cool while solving this question. Only knowledge will not help. You have to keep yourself cool, relaxed and focused. If it is a hundred second question, it has to be solved within there. That means it is possible to solve within that time. So if you are going through a longer route, then, then you have to learn that, you know, there are some intelligent ways of solving. It will take time if you get distracted by unnecessary calculations. There are lots of parameters which have been given uselessly. Oh my god. 
still people are struggling mm -hmm. okay so see here m and p are useless quantity they are not required not required at all you have to find out q what is q here is q q is product of roots of this is it q is nothing but product of the given root what is the product of the given roots roots are alpha plus 1 by beta and beta plus 1 by alpha if you multiply you will get alpha beta plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 by alpha beta that is and what was alpha beta alpha beta was roots of this equation and their product is 2 so 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 9 by 2 done right so those who are would have started with okay alpha plus beta is m okay alpha beta is 2 then you would have sum then product and all that what the point so hence all these questions are indicating yes so it will be you know the questions will be made in such a way that it will take you to you how many of you have heard of chakraview in mahabharat Chakraview, have you heard of Chakraview? What was the speciality of Chakraview in Mahabharat? So the strategy was very clear. Only Arjun want, knew how to, you know, uh, crack that question. So he was deliberately distracted away from that, right? So when Acharya Dron set that up, one of the foremost strategy was that to distract Arjun towards somewhere else, some other place, and he was taken away by some some yodha someone and only abhimanyu knew how to enter he didn't know he did not know how to come out right so so these questions are like that it will be distracting you okay unnecessarily you will be falling for that that question will you know uh, uh, what do you say poke your ego as, as well at times okay and uh, that is where you will make mistakes right now so hence all these exams questions will test your temperament okay right so hence learn that don't get distracted be focused on the demand of the question then only you will be getting it in shorter amount of time so this practice has to be done again and again next question see if i have given question in uh, uh you know uh, to be solved in 100 seconds then it will be solved within 100 seconds because I frame the question and solve myself before I put it in front of you. Okay, now who's venture, Baba? These are people who are really venture. Who's venture? Anyone who has by mistake got this name or there is some who's venture? Anyone is venture or there's no venture? Venture out, my dear friend. Okay, chalo, never mind. Uh, Menti OG Nam. What is Menti OG Nam? should be done easily I believe Good fellas, good.
ओके 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 सो लास्ट थ्री सेकेंड एंड आई होप दिस टाइम यू शुड है All of you, most of you at least, mm, most of you, but then still less than 50% are getting it correct. Who who could not do this? This was plain and simple, very very easy problem, right? What happened in this? What happened in this? So let's say alpha beta are roots. So clearly alpha plus beta is equal to 2a, and average average value has been given. Alpha plus beta by 2 is 1. right so hence you will see uh, if you solve these two you will get a is equal to 1 a is 1 if a is 1 then x square minus 2x plus b is equal to 0 and 5 is one of the roots then 5 square minus 2 times 5 plus b is 0 so if you solve this equation you will get b as minus 15 Right. Uh, sir, there's another way. Like you don't need to do all that. Now, what is another way, sir? Sir, uh, you know alpha plus beta by two is equal to one, and uh, we know alpha is equal to five, so beta is equal to minus three, and then you just multiply alpha into beta is equal to b, so three minus three into five, so you get minus fifteen. My my God, don't you think that much is too much? <laughs> so I I uh, you know anyways you can do that as well, but then. You don't need to find the other root, no need, right? So hence, uh, you know, so you, if you think that is making steps easier for you, you can do that. But simply, you got a as one, deploy it, put the value of five, x equals to five, you got it. Okay. Anyways, so idea is to get it correct. Okay. Chal. So good. Next question. Oh, before that, the leader, leaderus se bodas se. Okay. Oh. Uh, Okay, so venture is coming. Who is venture, by the way? Anyone known person? Who is venture? Is this someone amongst us? Anyone? Who's who's this guy? Oh, Avni is venture. Oh, okay. So you should mention that. Okay, cool. Chalo next. Next is good Avni. Put your name now. Oh, okay, no problem. Chalo, next question, guys. On your board. No number theory, common sense, common sense only. Common sense based question. mathematical common sense good that majority have got it right it was very very easy question one of the roots has to be two isn't it sum of roots is sum of, uh, roots are prime alpha and beta are prime numbers and alpha plus beta is 91 which is an odd number right alpha and beta is odd alpha plus beta is odd right and alpha and beta are prime so hence 2 has to be there only even prime is 
करेक्ट सो टू प्लस एटी इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी वन सो एटी नाइन इज द सेकेंड रूट राइट सो ट्वाइस नॉट वॉट आज द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रूट सो टू इन टू एटी नाइन वन बोलो हाउ वॉज दैट so every time you will not be given to find this value this is for robots and calculators not for humans okay so please be ready for such questions right common sense question how many of you got it correct okay cool very good nice nice to see that chalo next no problem now you know how oh go oh, oh my god oh my god okay so careless mistakes very good nice next question yes are in that way also you can do Yes, Meena. I'll show you after this, after this question. do not mess with calculations please do not mess with calculations Okay, solution time, and I am sure most of you would have got it. Oh, 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 what has happened to you today? Most of you are getting it wrong. You need more and more, more and more practice, more and more. It was again very simple. What is there in this question? Both roots have to be negative since all coefficients are positive. I didn't understand. Is it fine if we say both roots have to be negative since all Coefficients are positive. Yes, you can. Right. Okay. So, uh, sum of the reciprocals of the root roots of the equation. Okay. So, you know, uh, there are two ways of doing it. One is. Identify the signs of the coefficient. All are positive. Okay, all are positive. All are positive. That means alpha plus beta is negative. Correct. Alpha plus beta is negative, less than zero. Yes or no? And alpha beta is greater than zero. right because all the coefficients are positive if you reduce it to the quadratic equation all the coefficient will be positive correct so alpha beta is greater than 0 alpha beta is less than 0 that means both alpha and beta are individually less than 0 so right so sum so 1 by alpha is also less than 0 and 1 by beta is also less than 0 
So hence 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta will be less than 0. Right? So hence only option negative is this. So you can solve like that. That's do you understand the logic? Since the acha once again. Once again, important tricks to solve. Right? So alpha and beta are the roots of what this is a quadratic equation so if you really want to convert this into quadratic equation it is this x square plus 2021 x plus 2021 is equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation yeah that's what I'm, I'm I will solve both ways this is the equation now all the coefficients are positive that means alpha plus beta is simply minus 2021 by 2020 and alpha beta is 2021 by 2020 right now the formal way of doing it is you have to find out some of the reciprocals of the roots so you have to find out 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta that is alpha plus beta by alpha beta you have to find out this so that means you have to simply divide this and if you simply divide this you will get minus 1 so answer 1 minus 1 it can come from here let's say I don't want to do all of that so this method is understood how to find out reciprocal ka sum yes now let's say if I don't want to write anything if I were in an exam then what would I do I will see that all the coefficients of the equation all the coefficients are positive that means sum of the root is negative and product of root is positive. That means both the roots are negative. If both the roots are negative, their reciprocals will be negative and sum of their reciprocal would be neg negative. So hence clearly all these are ruled out. These are ruled out, ruled out. So this is the, so with, without even solving or touching or, you know, you can just, you know, um, do it mentally. Got it both ways. Yes. Clear to everyone, shall we move ahead? Now tell me, all of you sincerely, did we use anything which you have not learned? So far, have we have we discussed any question? Have we taken up any question which you, you guys have not learned? But still, the result is this, which shows a very terrible picture. It will be confusing. Why do you think it will be a piece of cake? Competitions are like that. They want to pick those students who are stable, intelligent, knowledgeable, and very good temperament. Understood? So, hence, these are the factors which are being tested. So, please work on that part as well. Okay? This is a skill. Over a period of time, only you will be able to develop. Shall we? Next question. Again, pay attention, focused, and Okay. Nice. Chalo. Next question, guys. Aniket, you have a ghost in your device. Guys, there is some okay now there is some some issue in this question. But anyways, Charoti. So I'll give you I will give you a is it a,
So I'll give you a what do you say? All of you will get marks here. There is some issue in this question, I believe. But let me see your attempt. Time problem, no problem. Everyone gets marks here because there was some issue. Now I would like to definitely understand those who have marked D. What made you mark D? Yes, anyone can unmute and say why D? Those who have marked D. How many of you have marked D and why? Random selection, okay. All are positive if X is 1. I guess D. 14 marked. Okay, now uh, there was slight this thing. So what I'll do is wait a minute. But let me explain the question first, then you'll understand. Uh, none of the options are correct in this. Why? Yes, Arin, why? Explain, let me see. How did you figure out that none of the options are correct? Yes, explain. If you know, then intuition. If you know, then intelligence, as in, you know, that, so that's uh, Also intuition, that. and then oh. I just... And then I just substituted x for 1 in all the equations and all of them were uh, coming out with positive rules. So. If you substitute 1 in all of these equations, it is coming out with positive rules. Sir, what I did was that if uh, it has, it only has roots, uh, if it doesn't have roots, then uh, it will either be only positive or only negative. And over here, A and C have opposite signs. So B square minus AC will always be positive, so there will always be two real roots. Uh, so there will be at least one, uh, one negative value. One negative value, okay. Uh, anyways, the idea was here to demonstrate the power of completing the square. Okay, so one, actually one statement is missing in this. Uh, in fact, there was, uh, yes, some one, one, one small element was missing in it. Anyways, but all of them, if you see, x to the power 1010 whole square plus 256 is 16 by x to the power 1010 whole square then if you see this is minus 30 can be written as minus 32 plus 2 isn't it yes if you do that this will become x to the power ah, so the question was this which of the following expression is never negative for any values of x? Okay, the question was, so thus wording, wording became a little, so the question was, which of the following is never, uh, yeah, but then there will be three options. Okay, anyways, so tell me, which of the following are never negative for any value of x? Which of the three? All the three are never negative. So, you know, so the question has to be worded in that. Do you see that this is, these are all greater than zero? All of them. All one, two, three is greater than zero. Why? The completing the square funda will give you that. So x to the power one, zero, one, zero. First one is this. Minus 16 x to the power one, zero, one, zero. Whole square plus two. This was the first one. Then second one was x1010 minus 19x1010 whole square plus 2. And similarly third one was x to the power 1010 minus 21 x to the power 1010 whole square plus 2. All of them are always greater than 0. So the question should have been worded like this. Which of the following expression can... Uh, can be negative for some some values of x like that so hence that then in that case, case this was negative why because if you see the fourth one is x to the power 1010 minus 923 to the power x1010 whole square okay and this is minus 6 okay so the fourth one is this Okay, so hence, this can be negative, 
this d can be negative sometimes when let's say uh, when this quantity is zero then d becomes negative so hence d is the only option which can have negative values a b c can never take negative values did you get this question this understanding is clear at least right so hence if such questions come now you are prepared right so what is the meaning so a b and c so hence the question could be this what is the minimum value of fx a can you tell me what is the minimum value of fx yeah i'll repeat once again so uh, if you look closely again uh, let me explain like this so if you see the first expression is this this one first expression is simply this x to the power 1010 Minus six point divided by x to the power one zero one zero square plus two. You can check. This one is the first expression. Second expression is this, right? And third one is this. All of them, all of them are greater than zero. Yes or no? Why are they greater than zero? Because we have a square term and a positive term added to it. Did you get that point? guys did you get this point it's a square root term as well as 2 is getting added so there will not be any value where whatever be the value of x these three will always be greater than 0 right is that clear to everyone now can you tell me what is the minimum value of fx minimum don't use formula all the time what is the minimum value bolo no need to Two, very good. What is the minimum value of B? Two again. What is the minimum value of C? Again, very good. And what is the minimum value of minus six? Got it? So when you complete this square, squares are always greater than equal to zero. So you get the so the same question could have been asked. How do you get the minimum value? What is the minimum value of any square? R in tandem. What is the minimum value of any square? Zero, right? So hence, if something is something square plus two, what is the minimum value of something square plus two? Two. When something is zero, then something square plus two is two. Correct. So that's how you have to find out minimum and maximum values. We have explained. Anyways, I have to just tweak this. Just give me a second. I will. Cancel this question. Question number eight. It was right. Was it eight? Yes. So question number eight, and what was the fourteen? Yes. So I am resetting the result. This slide reset. So I have reset it, and it has been now. Okay. So this was the previous. previous uh, leaderboard now all of you can just you know don't do that anything uh, i will skip so leaderboard is not changed question is removed next question on your screen hmm do this Oh, we are running slow today. Quickly. Don't guess. Options are very close. I have purposefully made the options very very close. Don't guess. Don't try to calculate also.
Okay. I hope you have not fallen into the trap. There is a trap in this question. And uh, three, two, one. Hmm. How many got it correct? Hmm. Oh, nice. Few people did get. Few people could not complete. Time was less, isn't it? Time was less for many. Hmm. Okay, so this was the question and there was a negative sign here. So you know what to do. So write it y, my, y is equal to this or x equals to this. So there was a negative sign. So I hope you have taken care of that. So x equals to this. So yep, in here itself it is, I can just uh, see what I'm doing. Am I right? So, follow guys. Yes, so x minus 2 or 2 minus x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus like that. Sorry. Am I right? 2 minus x is this. So, that means 2 minus x is equal to 1 upon 2 plus 2 minus x. Isn't it? Over game is over, so 2 minus x is equal to 1 upon 4 minus x. You have to solve this quadratic equation. So that means 2 minus x whole square, sorry, not whole square, 4 minus x is 1. How 2 minus x? Look carefully, Achoo. see. Once again, I am doing, please let me know if you don't understand any of the steps. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> so, take it, yes, once again, x is equal to this, there is no problem, so x minus 2 is minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus, right, right, isn't it, Bolo, is that okay, so 2 minus x, if you reverse, you will get 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus, right? Right, you can do that whichever way. So you don't need to do separately. You'll get x directly, rm. So this is 2 minus x is equal to 1 upon 2 plus. This entity is what is being repeated. So can I not write this as 2 minus x? Bolo, clear? Right? Now game over. So 2 minus x is equal to 1 upon 4 minus x. So 2 minus x times 4 minus x is 1. So that means x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 1. So x square minus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0. And from here directly x is equal to, if you solve minus b, that is 6 plus minus under root b square, that is 36, minus 4ac, that is 28, divided by 2. Right, so that is 3, or let me write 6 plus minus under root 8 by 2. This is 6 plus minus 2 root 2 by 2, which is 3 plus minus root 2. But it will not be 3 plus root 2, because 3 plus root 2 will take it beyond 4. But this entity is 2 lesser than 2. This entity x is less than 2. So what will be the value? 3 minus root 2. Isn't it? Bolo Clear? Everyone? Did we, did we deploy anything which we have not learnt in this question or in our quadratic equation? Now you are getting the message loud and clear. Message is loud and clear. Right? So, life will not be straightforward is the message. You need to brood over each and every question to get it right. Chalo. Good. So, next question guys. Easy one. Revision of previous topics is also necessary, so hence you will see application of previous topics in this question. 
I hope you remember your basic trigonometry rules. Trying options will not help because there are no standard angles in the option. I feel those nine people who answered before sir could finish his statement. <laughs> let them, let them. Okay, good. Oh, 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 20 people got it. The rest of the people have forgotten their trigonometry basics. Very, very simple question it was. Right, so 9 sine to the power 4 theta plus 6 cos theta, I will write as 6 minus 6 sine square theta minus 5 is equal to 0. Right. So I hope this is clear. So this is 3 sine square theta whole square minus 2 times 3 sine theta plus 1 is 0. So that means sine theta 3 square theta minus 1 square is 0. That means 3 sine square theta minus 1 is 0. So sine square theta is 1 upon 3. So sine theta is plus minus 1 by root over 3. Right? Sine theta is, what did we find out? Sine theta is plus minus 1 upon root 3. Yeah. Now cos theta will be under root 1 minus sine square theta, which is 1 minus uh, 1 by 3 which is root 2 by 3 correct so tan theta is sine by cos so 1 by root 3 divided by root 2 by root 3 so 1 by root 2 right clear no problem okay so let's quadratic equation application in trigonometry application in quadratic equations. Oh my god, Avni is cracking. Very good. Shallow. Very less gap between the top two people. Okay, nice. Shallow. I have given 120 seconds in this question, so you have lots of time. Please solve. There are two minutes in this question. You should be able to solve within two minutes. Then you must be able to answer this, Aranya. This type of questions are too many in your Adi Sharma book here and there. I just tamper with the values so that you get trapped. 
the values will be little this thing body of the question will remain the same aniket menti if menti was sad then it would have been sad for everyone you have a haunted pc how do one people answer so fast they press the key immediately one of them a b c d ha uh, spray and pray right trial and error no why trial and error not at all oh my god 2 minutes also 52 people only solved oh yeah most of you got it that's nice cool i'm really happy Good. so this was you don't need to follow your methods and steps here one fourth of the herd of cows let's say the herd of the moment you see this question you start writing herd is x that is what total number of cow they are asking right so let it be x so one fourth is in the forest so how much in the forest x by 4 twice the square root of the herd has gone to min mountains so twice root x mountain and 15 are on the banks of the river plus 15 this must be equal to the herd itself is the equation clear this is a quadratic equation and then the question is boiled down to or you just need to solve this equation that's it yeah you can eliminate also no problem yeah so hence you can see which of these you know so clearly it has to be x has to be a uh, integer right x has to be integer i will solve but just in case you want to click quickly so x has to be a perfect square so these are ruled out okay yes either 100 or 36 so you can check this will suit so this is the solution if you want so you have to do what multiply the entire equation by 4 so you'll get x plus 8 root x plus 60 is equal to 4x okay now keep the root at one side and take it to the other side so 3x minus 60 this is the right Okay, yes, trial and error definitely works. So in your exam, in your NTSC, don't really go for formal. If you can solve in some shortcut, please do. Okay, then what? Square both sides. So 64x is equal to 9x square plus 3600 minus uh, 6636x. Am I right? So this equation is 9x square. Um, 360 and 64. That is minus 424 x plus 3600. So this is equal to zero. So I have to solve this one, right? Now 9 into 36 I have to break. 9 into 36. So 424 I have to get somehow. I have to break this in this fashion. So uh, yeah. So 324 and 100 works, right? So 9x square minus 324x minus 100x plus 3600 is zero. Yes, yes, right. So hence, what do you need to do? You solve it. You solve this equation. You will get 100 by 9. One fraction term. Let me solve only. So let's say it is 9x common x minus how much? Uh, 9 into 36 no 360 yes 336 and then 100 common minus 100 common x minus 36 is 0 so this is 9x minus 100 times x minus 36 this is 0 clearly x is 36 because x equals to 100 by 9 will not satisfy this equation why because it's a fraction and number of cows cannot be a fraction so answer is 36 Here, so we have doubt. So 120 seconds were more than enough to solve this problem. Good that most of you have done it, and the easiest problem of the evening. Oh, before that, the leader. Oh, Avni is on first position now. 
very good next last question of the evening Okay. Hmm. Very easy question. Last 10 seconds guys, last 10 seconds of the quiz, I hope everybody has marked their answer, okay, so time's up, and okay, cool, most of you have got it correct, this is a very simple question, right, rectangle, diagonal given, right, 15 meters, so let's say uh, the difference between length and width is 3. So if width is x, it is x plus 3. And you have to find out x square. Right? You have to find out x square. So hence you know x square plus x plus 3 whole square is equal to 15 square. Pythagoras theorem. So this implies x square plus x square plus 9 plus 6x minus 225 is 0. So 2x square plus 6x minus 216 is 0. Okay. So 216 and oh, so 2 can go. So this is x square minus plus 3x minus 108 is 0. So this can be x square and 12 times 9. So 12x minus 9x minus 108 is 0. Correct. So hence x x plus 12 minus 9 x plus 12 is 0. So x plus 12 x x minus 9 is 0. So x is either minus 12 or x is 9. But minus 12 cannot be the solution because length cannot be negative. So x has to be 9. So x plus 3 is the length. So 12 is the length. So area is 12 into 9 or not it. Very simple. So A was the answer. Okay. So last, finally, the bell goes. Okay. Okay. Abni, you missed it. L oh, oh, okay. Very good, Aniket Gupta. Congrats once again. So Momita, Shreyas, and Anvi are all Indranagar, then Omesh from Radhaji Nagar, Sharduli from Kormangla, THK, who is in from, wait, let's see once again. Okay, so uh, Ananya from CHK, very good. So these are the rankings. Okay, Ananya, Omesh, Sharduli, Akshit, Pratik, and Anish Bharadwaj. Lots of Indranagar people, two from 
HK, EPS East, Akshit, Shardoli from Koramangala, Omesh from Rajaji Nagar. Very good, folks. Very good. Congrats. So, see you again. So, learning is again whether you win or lose. Did you learn something? Did you, you know, uh, you have to explore beyond your regular um, curriculum or whatever we have done. Questions will be difficult but at times. So, fair enough. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Let's meet again next time. Bye bye.